What is up, scent heads, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and today we're celebrating a birthday, bitches. That's coming up next. And this is Mega Dave's Faves. Yo, what is good, Fave fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a Favey baby. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, Welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave, and this is my channel, Oh So Fresh. And this is my series, Mega Dave's Faves. And I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love. And I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me two huge, fresh thumbs up that lets me know that you enjoy the content. Also, think about subscribing and hit me decent right there in the old bell end. Give it a ring or two. It ain't going to hurt you absolutely free. That lets you know when I'm uploading new content because who knows it could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. Today, we got a special day. The king is here. Bow to the king or should we? Fragrance that I got in is Creed Aventus, kind of. 10 year anniversary, Creed Aventus. All right, so this was released overseas. Again, I got my little birds that they fly, they put it right at their coolos, bring it over here to the United States for me. Uh, ordered a bunch of these actually, some are coming, I'm gonna sell a waffle some, I may do a giveaway, I don't know. But this got here, I wanted to review it. I don't think a ton of people have really talked about it. Uh, some bad reviews, some good reviews, so I wanted to give my take on it to see what I think about this 10 year anniversary and see if the birthday party is worth going to. All right, so for those living under a rock, Creed Aventus, not this one. There's other bottles that look completely different. They did this for the 10 year anniversary. Came out 2010, made a splash with the industry. It's a phenomenal fragrance. Actually might be the most popular niche fragrance ever. It definitely is the one that brought niche to light where a lot of people were thinking, oh, they're too different. They're skanky, they're this or that. They're not mass pleasing. This was the one that brought that mass pleasing power to the masses by adding that pineapple, that bergamot, and forever has changed the lives of so many people. Batch variations, people are chasing this or that. It's called the king for a reason. It's a phenomenal fragrance. Sometimes it doesn't last, there's this or that, but all in all, people know what this is. And if you don't, like I said, just wake up, okay? But let me shut up and get to why you guys all came here and get to the scent breakdown. All right, I got my tinny tin tin right here. And of course, the grown man of the industry, the handy dandy fresh strip, and we're gonna take him to paper. Yeah, that sprayer is phenomenal. All right, so when this opens up, I'm just gonna be a spoiler for you guys. There's not a ton of different things going on with this fragrance. 2010 to me has not been the best for Creed Aventus. A lot of reformulations, things like that, but it still opens up like a Ventus. You're not gonna smell it and be like, oh, it's completely different. You still get that juicy tart pineapple. It's very fruity. You get that nice pop of bergamot that's in there. You pick up a little bit of apple too, almost green apple, kind of like a blend between the Aventus cologne, which is heavily on like the mint and the apple. And then you get like a blend of the pineapple for sure. And then as we get to the mid, I'll explain all of that. But that's what I get. I kind of get a blend, a hybrid of both of them. They kind of like they put everything they did for 10 years and put everything into the bottle. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. But definitely, there's all this fruit that's going on in the beginning. So people that love that fruity, juicy opening of Aventus is what you're gonna get right there in the opening. Then when we get to the mid, things are still there. The fruit has toned down quite a bit. One of the major components that I smell to my nose is like Ambroxan. It's thick with Ambroxan. There's no hiding it. They're trying to get it to push out and they're trying to get it to latch on to people. And I think this is kind of where it's gonna start falling apart, at least for me. It's still a very good scent, still people are going to recognize it, like I say, but something I do not pick up much on, maybe just a tinge of a little bit of greenness coming from a melon, but it's not like a in-your-face melon. This isn't gonna be Millicene Imperial type of melon. It's light, light green. But like I said, I'm just so like punched in the face with Ambroxan. It's synthetic for sure, but it is blended pretty good. Obviously, Creed is not going to drop something out that's like synthetic, but they do aim to mass, please. I think they went that route with this one where you still get that traditional opening. It's just blended a little bit too synthetic for me. All right, now getting to the dry down. 
The dry down for me, gone. Oh, my hands are damn near gone. Been on here about five hours or so. So spoiler alert, don't last that long, at least not on my skin. But I've wore this a few times since it's been in. On paper, a little bit different than on skin. But on skin, you get this leather and amber gray accord. Leather for sure, it's dominant in it. That actually is a really nice change of pace where you think it's just gonna perform extremely well. Gonna be a little bit different, handle the cold a little bit different, but on my skin where I've been, where I've tried it, like it's not lasting like I wish that it would. The ambergris in there, it's clean, it's very nice smelling. Also, as it wears down quite a bit, you pick up this nice earthy patchouli that's in there and then that traditional woody base that we love. It doesn't really get a ton of smoke, but it does have a little bit of birch in it that I can pick up. The leather to me is very dominant. The patchouli is dominant, at least on my skin. It may play completely different on yours. Patchouli pops up to the center, which is not a bad thing, like I said. I expected with a base heavy like that that I could smell of the leather, the patchouli, things like that, the oak moss, that it would be a lot stronger of a fragrance and it just unfortunately is not. All right, now, who, what, when, where, how, why? Who, this is a men's fragrance. This is designed for what I like to call for the Antonios, the Daphnes, I don't think the women are gonna like this, okay? Uh, that's just me. Some women absolutely love it. Some women absolutely despise it. It's known as to be a boxer dropper. This is a masculine fragrance. Nothing has changed on that aspect, okay? It's still Creed Aventus with some mild changes. All right, one good thing about this is the seasons, I think, bumped up one extra season. So this is a season thing. So when to wear it? Springtime, absolutely. Fall time, I think you can pull it off just fine. Summer, absolutely. Depending where you live, Winter time, you can pull it off. I cannot pull this off. Even with the leather, the patchouli, the things that are in there like that, it's still too fresh of a fragrance to get drowned out by the snow. All right, now, where to wear this fragrance? This is still, just like Creed Aventus, a signature scent. I wanna reiterate something where people think this is going to be completely different. This is still Creed Aventus with some notes added here and there. It's not much different, so it's still a signature scent. People that love Creed Aventus will either love this or be despised by it with the fact that it's changed up or whatever. But if you're newer to the game, this is going to be like any other Creed Aventus that you smell from 2020, okay? Even some 2019 stuff, it's not gonna be a huge different. The leather is a little bit more prominent. Some patchouli is a little bit more earthy. Nothing ever gets dirty, but wear it as a signature scent, wear it to the office, wear it wherever you like. All right, I tested this a bunch of times. So how to wear it? I did about seven to eight sprays. So I did one, two, three, I did four, five, six, seven, boom, dab it. And sometimes I did an optional both back of the shoulders. It does not last on me, okay? I get four to five hours from it, that's pushing it. Now, some events just last a little bit longer, some lackluster, and they smell a lot better. Like 17Q11, I probably get five hours, six hours, somewhere in that, but it smells phenomenal. You get some 18BO1s that last on me a long time. So, and then you go further back when the birch tar was really heavy, when you get that smoky Aventus that lasted forever, just didn't have the same scent profile. So this one smells good. It does have a little classic feel with that leather. Like you're going to catch a little bit of smoke, but you never do. Just like Creed Aventus though, the sillage is what's the star, at least for me. Projection, you ain't gonna get much. I get about an hour, almost fingers, I guess, but the sillage is what's great. As you go by, as the breeze catches you, as you pass by something, you're gonna leave a little trail and it's gonna be around there for a good bit. Like I said, you can smell it for about four hours. A lot of times people go nose blind to it. I don't know if that's the case with this, but I can't even smell it on my clothes. Now, I've tested on paper, I've left it sitting there, coming back later. You can't really pick it up as much. So I'm gonna leave that up to you guys, the experts that wear Aventus all the time. You guys know exactly what I mean. But what I can realistically smell is four to five hours at best. All right, we got that out of the way. Now let's get to the fresh score. All right, as always, I have seven categories, five points each with a max of 35 points. And those categories are packaging, sprayer, performance, value, versatility, and compliments. My fave, hopefully your fave too. All right, so getting into packaging. We all know the traditional Creed packaging. Looks like this now with the 10 year, they put the little sticker on it. The box has it on there as well. You still get the cards and all that stuff in there. To be 100 with you guys, I don't like the bottle, okay? Yeah, I get it. It's 10 years they needed to change something. I would have probably just been cool with the cap. Maybe something a little different. It looks a little hokey to me, just to be honest with you. The cap is really dope. Has a little black here. The box actually is pretty dope too. I don't care for the little uh, birthday 
flags, whatever the hell they are. Uh, just not my style. So for packaging, I'm gonna give it actually a little bit lower than normally is three and a half points. All right, now getting into sprayer. This thing I think is better than the old Aventuses. Uh, that's a now plural. So, but the sprayer looks like this. That hit way over there. The sprayer is this wide. It puts the juice on in an incredible fashion. The sprayer, one of the best. It's not quite Chanel, but this thing is five, okay? It is solid. All right, now getting into performance. Oh, how I wish this thing lasted more because the price needs to be a little bit better. The performance on me, now again, I'm taking nose blind into consideration here, but it is very, very underwhelming for me. I have designers that are like one fifth of the price, one sixth of the price that lasts a lot longer, two points. I know that seems harsh and I'm trying not to bash the fragrance because it's very solid, but it just needs some power. Adversely going in with value because the performance is so low, the value is going to be low as well because of the price tag being as high as it is. Now, I did have to pay a little bit extra to get it flown over here from Italy, but I do think the retail is going to be probably like 280, 250, somewhere in that range for a fragrance that's only going to last probably four to five hours. Extremely low, but it still is a creed, so I'm going to give it three points. All right, now getting into versatility. It's not the most versatile, but it's also not the worst. It has a lot of places that you can use it. Like I said, in the cold climates, you're not gonna get as much use. Down south, you're gonna get a lot more use. Me, personally, I'm gonna give it three points. All right, it seems like we're going on a little trend here with the threes. We're gonna get into originality. Originality, still Creed Aventus. They did a little bit of this or that, but you ain't tricking me. It's a 2020 Aventus. You threw in a little bit of leather. You didn't extend it. You put some Ambrox in thinking you're going to trick people into thinking this is going to be a Dior Sauvage killer, which I actually like Aventus a little bit less than Dior Sauvage. So this is not killing it. Three points. All right. And getting into the Whopper, compliments. I love the smell of Creed Aventus. Majority of men prefer the smell of Creed Aventus. I know a lot of ladies that love it as well. It does make really good compliments, but it's almost polarizing where some women don't care for it or they care sometimes clones or cheaper ones better. Or like I said, Dior Sauvage's Blue de Chanel's, they prefer the smell of those over the Creed Aventus. That being said, it still is a very good scent. It just doesn't have the power. So for that, I give it three and a half points. All right, we add all that up. We got 23 points. Now, I want to just say this. I am trying, I'm not bashing this fragrance. It is a good smelling fragrance. It is still a Creed. I'm going to keep this in my collection forever because I think it's a special thing. Creed Aventus holds a great place in my heart. But for what it is and what it's designed to do, I just think it missed the mark on a lot of stuff. Maybe sample it or if you're a collector like I am, you're going to want this bottle regardless because it's changed. Don't get it just on scent alone. I'm sure some people are going to be doing decants, things like that. Get some other stuff, okay? In my advice, 2020, 2019, like go back a little bit if you can, get, get some stuff that's like powerful, but that's all me. Don't listen to me, wear what you love, love what you wear. But for this fragrance, that's all I have. Until I come to you again, I ask that you continue to be blessed and stay fresh.